Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In today's episode, I'm going to be going over jump technology, what jumps what, as well as uh, cool things to know about it and how you can use it to your advantage. I'll also be going over jump points and a few other topics, but it will be largely focusing on how to actually get your jump drive sorted and working. But before we go into today's episode, a few things that I want to say. First thing is that there is no let's play, there won't be any let's play episodes until either tomorrow or the day after because again, I'm melting here uh, in the UK. It's currently 30 degrees Celsius at 60% humidity and I'm not having a fun time. Um, but I am able to make these videos because they're a lot easier, they're more walk up and they're just quick to the point, which is the goal of these tutorials. So. Other than that, please don't give a like uh, and comment and subscribe anything. It really does help out the algorithm. It's hard being an or YouTuber due to everything being so niche and stuff. So if you could put a uh, anything, it would be really, really appreciated. Okay, so let's go into it. Jump drives, jump theory. What is it? Well, jump drives and jump theory are things that you will need if you want to explore other places and other worlds. So. There are, th there are two ways to transverse a jump point. A jump point is a location uh, in the system. There are a total of 30 survey locations in the system. So as you can see here, I've surveyed all of them as you can see. And they are arranged in a pattern accordingly. These 30 points have a chance for a jump point to be behind one of them. So if I survey this point, there's a chance that a jump point will, be, uh, will appear around it. This is not guaranteed for each one, but it generally occurs like that. So once the jump point is generated, it will appear on the map like this. When explored, jump point two. To transverse that and to explore it, you need to do two things. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is is going to be develop. Well, so you're going to need to do two things. You either go for jump stabilization. Or you go for jump drives. Jump drives allow ships e in either squadrons or on its own to transverse between that jump point and that system to another system. While jump gains or jump stabilization, they rename that, uh, it, it does it a little bit different. And you build a module on a ship that you uh, get from construction and production technology. And then you put it over, you, sta you, you build um, or stabilize the jump point uh, and you need to make sure on either side as well and that will allow you to transverse it without a jump drive. And civilians cannot use jump drives to do this. Another thing to keep in mind is you can use other ships jump drives to transverse other ships, which means you can have ships that are jump tenders, which is a ship that just has a jump drive and other ships can use that. There are certain rules regarding these, so I will go over this now. So let's look at the Osiris class exploration vessel. Or exploration ship. We have a military jump drive because the type of vessel it is is military as well as the engine. So the type of the vessel doesn't really matter, it's primarily the engines, but one will follow the other usually. So if you have a military ship that has commercial engines and uh, it can use a commercial jump drive, but if you if you have a commercial ship with military engines, what's well, going to be a military ship anyway? So that that's the kind of catch twenty two with that. So that 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 that's how that works, and that you need to be able to be the correct engine type for them to go through. And now let's discuss jump drive kind of specifications. So this number over here. Uh, you'll be able to choose this in components, so if we go over to components here, so if we go to jump drives, after researching all that technology, max jump rates, max expression rates, all that stuff. So, this number indicates the max ship that can be jumped with that jump drive, so for this is uh, 3,750. The 3 to 50 indicates that you can jump a total of 3 ships, including itself, uh, in a squadron transit, which means that um, they wouldn't jump one at a time. So what I mean by one at a time is that you can have a ship, let's say with a 5,000 ton max ship capable jump drive, and it can transport as many ships as it wants through that jump drive uh, that are of that size. The problem is that it'll do it one at a time. 
So that will be standard transit. So it'll be it'll take much longer usually. Um, and you're much more at risk to get jump trapped and stuff like that. So squadron transit will allow you to jump ships in more of a military aspect. Then you have jump radius. This is in um kilometers. Uh, so uh, fifty thousand um thousand kilometers. So that is how far you'll jump through the system, and like how far you'll be away from the jump point when you jump out of it. So that can help if they are sitting right on top of the jump point for defense and stuff like that. So that is the general idea with it. Efficiency goes up, which means you can have smaller jump drives with uh, better ship sizes and stuff like that. You can also build commercial jump drives, which, as I said before, can only be used with commercial engines. And they are much more size inefficient, but they grant you a lot more tonnage. So they're a lot less efficient, but you you know they're they're much more uh how would you say much more uh, efficient in terms of if you need a big engine a big jump drive you can get a big jump drive like this. Okay, so now that we've kind of gone through jump drives, we're going to go through a few other things. So jump points. Um, I have a jump point here. So what will happen is if we went to an exploration ship, so I went to the Osiris, and I ordered it to, uh, well, I'll, I'll go to this one. If I order this guy to go over here, you, the way you want to do this, if you want to transit through, is you want to grab your vessel with a jump drive, select the jump point, and then do a standard transit. And then you have a few other buttons. You have squadron transit, which we covered, and then squadron transit by subfleet. So this will transit the squadrons by subfleet. So each subfleet that has the engines will transport each in, and that and that will, and they will be moved instead of the entire fleet. Um, which is how that's supposed to work anyway. And and that's generally how the jump points work. Once you have entered through a jump point, the system will be generated. Uh, and at that point, it'll be generated according to a few factors, but uh, well, that's more for terraforming. Um, and then you'll have to survey all of these points again, and that will lead on to you. Your galaxy map will also update, as you can see here. So we have Sirius, Alpha Centauri, so I, I explored one jump point, and now I can see that. Keep in mind, another thing you can do is you can, is you can have stations, so that is a... That is a place with, or a, a ship without armor and no engines and is only commercial that can have a jump drive on it. So you can have a jump tender that can be built through industry. So oh, that was a bit of a mistake there, but uh, it can be built through industry. So keep that in mind. Um, you can also put the stabilization modules on it, which means that you can tow commercial sh uh, stations to build the stabilization area. So you can use stations for this, which are a lot more efficient because they only use industry instead of uh, shipyards. So that's pretty much it. That's what jump drives are. That's what they do. That's how they jump. Um, they don't require power. They, they are pretty useful things. And make sure you budget for them accordingly. I hope you have enjoyed the episode. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And in the description below, there will be a link to how you can suggest new tutorials um and a few other links as well um other than that i hope you have enjoyed it again i'll see you next time bye, -bye.